Hello there, this is Stephen Ball and I'm going to be talking to you about this sample that we have for integrating Yellowfin and its powerful BI analytics engine inside existing Delphi applications. Now this source code is available up on GitHub and provides a, a quick way to integrate in some really powerful capabilities into your existing applications. So the first thing you're going to need is a copy of the sample. And you can get that from github.com forward slash Delphiable. And there there's the Yellowfin repository. Uh, feel free to pull that down. There's both a FireMonkey and a VCL example. Now, both examples have been created using frames. Um, so you can really get to the bottom of which part of the source has been called very quickly. And there are also frames that you can lift and reuse into your own projects as well, if you'd like. There's additionally, uh, the main folder here is this YF source. And that in here has a number of different files, um, some of them calling the actual web services and being referenced uh, as a, a container for the data that comes back from those web services. And some of them about the connectivity and um, just being a, a point of contact for those services as well. So, um, for example, here we have the report services pass. Um, this has a list of the web service classes that are returned back, um, that come back from calling different uh, web service calls. And we also have this um, services uh, helper, which provides a class helper to create a default object, um, which has got all the parameters set up on there already. Um, so this allows you to you know, connect in, have all the you know, authorization done for the single sign on, and then uh, push it on. So. Uh, you can see here this using a defaults object, um, which is a TYF defaults, and there is indeed a defaults file here, which creates a singleton. Uh, here we can see that we have a, a function providing back a singleton of this object. Uh, and then you just basically set the properties up of that, and then all the other methods uh, and classes are going to use that object to be able to um, do all the other uh, service calls in and out quite quickly. So in addition to that, we have some user methods. These user methods are there for updating passwords, validating passwords, testing you know, credentials, fetching a session ID, which you're going to use if you're going to do um, single sign-on and want to actually provide back a URL um, with some more advanced capabilities on. Um, so you know, these are all kind of basic methods that you're going to be using regularly. But again, very, very easy to call. Just call tyf user methods dot um, fetch session ID passing the username and password um, from the from the defaults and you'll get your session ID. Uh, and then that's just integrated into uh, an endpoint uh, and off it goes. Uh, we also use this uh, get yellowfin single sign-on, which actually uses the, uh, which shortcuts all of that as well um, to actually provide you just back the URL that you need to call a specific uh, method point. So. Yeah, very, very easy to, to get the basic entry point and, and to call in and go. So as I say, these are very straightforward units. Uh, if you download them into your local machine, uh, you can then see here we've got the projects open. And you can see both, both the VCL and the FireMonkey ones using the same files here. And you say here's the frames that you can see um, how to kind of go ahead and and we've got a base frame here, and a date frame, and a combo frame, and so on. And these are all used for providing uh, drop downs for different filters. So you can then actually have the end user managing and working with the filters directly. So let's go ahead and just run this project. Yeah, here we can see that we've got the call behind here just to test it. And we've got the call to get the list of reports back and provide you back a list of the reports. You can see here examples about how to select just your favorite reports. And if we go ahead and run one of these reports, we can see the output come through. And this is as a plain HTML, or we can just get back the actual data that's been run behind this report. Uh, if we go back to the HTML version, here yeah, we can see that we've got, uh, oh, there we are, we've got a filter on here as well. So let's go ahead and filter this by one of the available options. Let's have a look at Europe and run the report again. You can see this is all updated here. Now we've got the, the option set for Europe. Let's go and have a look at this in interactive mode. And here we can see that's automatically set that. And again, uh, this report's defined to show the filter automatically. 
you don't always have to have to do that you can have it hidden out the way um, but now we're into the report you know we've got additional information we can click on there we can get an explanation from it we can compare it um, you know we can keep it exclude it there's a lot that we can do and you know this provides a, a lot of you know rich functionality so um this is all exactly the same as what we would see if we logged into the actual web interface as well so let's just go ahead and log in here uh, here we've got some more advanced dashboards you know this dashboard's got uh, the ability to you know, click onto any of the reports as well so this one's got a, an explanation one and again this same functionality you can have running inside your Delphi application and this is all automatically generated giving you insights into what's going on with the data all these charts are generated automatically by the system you know you can also have drill downs into the data as well uh, you know clicking in and you know viewing in you know what's going on with different countries and regions and so on uh, and the drill down drill up is is very very powerful capability Okay, so that's uh, a quick view there. Oh, I just want to show you the um, single sign-on. Okay, so we have a few different endpoints that we can call into here with the single sign-on. Um, let's start with the dashboards, and we can see here that we've got the Yellowfin content directly into the application, and we can see that we can kind of click on and uh, analyze and explain or compare uh, different data. And again, then get that full drill in available and again this could be off the standard reports uh, we can go ahead and create reports in here we can go ahead and start using the administration section to manage users and roles and uh, data sources that we're connecting to we can have a look at the reports over time see who's been accessing what which is really important from an audit's point of view and we can have a look at the signals to create and manage uh, alerts based on different data sets as well so really really quite a lot of rich functionality that we can embed directly into our user interface uh, and I'd also say you know, there are the basic reports elements here being able to pull these reports and just embed uh, these aspects directly inside you know you can imagine embedding just this underneath the, the data that you're drilling into above for a specific contact or customer or, or whatever you know you can really start making very data centric decisions based on what your users are working on so that's really it um, obviously if you want to get started um, you can download the trial from the Yellowfin website um, but also there's a docker image that's got uh, everything embedded into it if you want to get up and going very very quickly and uh, you will just need a license which you can get from the free trial page um, the source code again on GitHub and also if you want to explore the APIs further and have a look at some more of the advanced capabilities then please go ahead and have a look at the Yellowfin wiki there. Alright, happy coding everyone!